You are about to see a demonstration of Connect Solutions' flagship product, Connex, which is a SQL data access engine that provides real-time access to virtually any legacy, non-relational or relational data source using open data access standards. In this demonstration, we will show you how Connex can give your company real-time SQL access to its RMS data using Microsoft Excel. Thank you for the overview of the demonstration. We will start by opening the Connex Data Dictionary to do an import of the RMS metadata. I'll start that by starting the Connects Data Dictionary, which will first prompt us to load an existing data dictionary. Uh, in this case, we're going to create a new one with the import. So I will cancel here. And at the Data Dictionary Manager screen, I will select the Import button. That then brings up the import window where we select our import type. Um, we are going to do an RMS import, a COBOL import in this case, although we support many other options for RMS. We also support 50 uh, different databases, everything from CISAM, vSAM, RMS, etc. Um, so here we're prompted for our server information. In this case, we're logging into an alpha. So I will plug that information in here. And this will allow us to browse over to our data on the server to select the file definitions to import. It brings up a browsing window where we can then navigate over and select the file to import. In this case, we're looking for customers underscore RMS FD for file definition. I'll select OK and then OK once again to import that as a database container. Okay, selecting that database container then shows us the properties for that database, including the table columns. Here with the columns, we have the designated data type, which we support over 400 different data types natively in the product. Um, we can add custom data types for those that haven't been previously defined. Okay, from here, on the properties, we now need to designate the data file associated with that file definition. So once again, we will browse to that location. This will bring up the same interface as before to navigate over and select the file. And this time we're going to the customers underscore RMS dot dat file for our data. Okay, now we see that designated here. We still have our table columns information. And now we have our table indexes here. And we can confirm that we're pointed to the right data by refreshing this index. The table security we'll actually get into in the next step where we can lock down various levels of access to either the Connects Data Dictionary or the individual columns uh, by user or groups within that. Now at this point we need to save this data dictionary. So I'm going to go ahead and select Save. I'm going to name this RMS Demo and we will save that as our new imported dictionary. The Connex Integrated Security can provide a single logon for all data sources via one user integrated logon encrypted in the Connex Data Dictionary. This security respects all existing database security, including predefined database logons. The Connex username and password can be independently mapped for each individual user um, to multiple databases. 
This is done here with the database account management. Here we'll show adding a user. In this case, we'll just go in here and add a single user. And then we'll add that user to a group. Simple point and click interface to do all your security. I'm going to take over now and show the table level security portion of Connex. As you can see on the screen here, we have the Connex table highlighted and the table security tab selected. Now today we're going to add two restrictions. We are going to add a user level restriction on the Dan account as well as a group level restriction on the demo group. So we want to select add restriction and we are going to select Dan. And we're going to restrict Dan from seeing the customer phone column. Now for a second restriction, we want to select the demo group. And we're going to restrict the demo group from seeing the customer state column. Now Dan not only has a user level restriction here, Dan is also a member of the demo group. So when we use Dan's credentials to log in, he will be restricted from seeing the customer phone column as well as the customer state column. So at this point, let's go ahead and save the Connex Data Dictionary, and let's go and create a DSN so we can access our data. We want to create a system DSN and select the Add button. Of course, we want to use the Connex32 driver. Now we need to give this a name, and we need to put in the full path to the location of the data dictionary that we want to access with this DSN. Once we get that information there, we can select OK, and we can see our DSN that we just created. So we'll select OK again. Now we're going to go into Excel and we're going to import the data. Now we're going to import the data three different times. We're going to import it with the Connect 75 account first. Now this account has absolutely no restrictions whatsoever, so we will get all of the columns and all of the data. Our second import will be using the Dan account, which has a user level as well as a group level restriction. And our third import will be using the Mike account. Mike has no user level restrictions, but he does have a group level restriction. So to start off, we want to select the Data tab and from Other Data Sources, and then from Data Connection Wizard. We want to select the ODBC DSN, and then we want to highlight and select the RMS underscore demo DSN that we just created. Now we're going to use the Connects 75 account. And there's our table, select Next, and Finish. And as you can see, the Connect 75 had no restrictions, so we do have the customer phone and the customer state along with all of the other columns. Now for our second import, we're going to use the Dan account this time. So again, we want to go through the same process. And on the integrated login screen, we are going to use Dan as the account this time. And as you can see, we have fewer columns. Now, once again, Dan did have a user level restriction on the customer phone column, which was at the end of the spreadsheet for the Connect 75 user, and that's no longer there, as well as a group level restriction on the customer state, which was right after the customer city. Now, for our third import, we are going to bring in the data using Mike's account. Now, Mike does not have a user level restriction. Mike only has a group level restriction. And as you can see, he does have the customer phone, which was a restriction that was based on Dan's account only. So Mike, by logging in using his credentials, has the ability to see that. But he is part of the demo group, so the demo group restriction on the customer state is applicable, and he does not have the ability to view that data.
So the security in the product is very powerful and flexible, allowing you to determine who can see what tables as well as what columns they see within a specific table. As shown in the demonstration, you can choose to administer those restrictions on either a single user level or multiple users through the creation of a group and the addition of a group level restriction. So that ends our demonstration of Connects for RMS. Now we will conclude with an overview of the highlights of Connects. Thank you for taking the time to watch this demonstration of Connects. If you'd like to find out more, please check out our website or contact us by phone or by email.